Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Weddle, and today is um, lesson 12. It is Wednesday, April 8th, and so I am going to go through the learning task with you. Um, so you can hear me, but you can't see me because I am recording my screen. So, um, lesson 12, RL 2.3. I'm just going to start off with the success criteria. Um, I can determine important lines of dialogue or incidents in a story. I can determine how important lines of dialogue or incidents in a story help develop action, aspects of a character, provoke a decision. I can analyze how important lines of a dialogue or incidents in a story help to to affect the aspects of a story, um, the same things, okay? So task one, refer back to Uncle Marco's text to complete the assignment. Respond to the short answer prompts using complete sentences. Character Uncle Marcos, Isabel Allendy. A character in a narrative may be a person, an animal, or even an object. The main character is the most important character in the narrative, the one whose conflict drives the plot. Character traits are the qualities, attitudes, and values that a character has. For example, a character might be reliable, smart, selfish, or stubborn. The plot in a narrative is the sequence of, a, of related events that are propelled forward by a conflict or problem that the characters face. A writer will use a number of different characters in the plot. One could be a round character who has many different traits, both good and bad. In contrast, a flat character is one-dimensional displaying only a single trait. A dynamic character changes and learns. A static character does not change or learn. Writers use a variety of techniques to portray characters. They describe what characters look like and how they behave. They reveal what trait, they, re, they reveal what characters want, feel, and think through dialogue or the words of or the words characters say. So now we're going to answer some of the questions in the text. So who is the main character in Uncle Marcos? My hint to that would be, who is the story about? Whose name is in the title? Question two, what are character traits of the main character? So Uncle Marcos might be our main character, but let's think of some traits um, that would describe him. So think of the events from the story, the important events, like him um, playing the organ, him flying the bird, him going off on different adventures. Um, and then think of what kind of character traits would it take to be a person like Uncle Marcos? Three, what type of character is the main character? Round or static? So let's go back up to the definitions. A round character who has many different traits, both good and bad. So this person would have a lot of traits, like they could be smart, funny, as well as like um, absent-minded, hold on, I'm reading, or a static character is one that, de that does not change or learn. They stay the same throughout the story. So a round character, we're probably gonna see some change, whereas a static character, we're not gonna see any change and they're not gonna learn anything new. So you need to explain which type of character he is and why and how is dialogue used in Uncle Marcos to describe the main character 
So give me a few examples from the text that support that, um, how you think it's used to describe him. Task two. <clears throat> so I'm going to end this video here. Um, so this just is, goes over task one. And then I'm going to start back up with task two in the second video because I don't want the videos to get too long like I did yesterday and have to do a bunch of editing.